Hey everybody, uh, Brad Talton here with Level 99 Games, and I am joined by Marco De Santos once again, uh, who will be assisting me in this playtest of the Mega Man board game V5.3. Um, so, Ooh, greetings, Marco. Fancy. Yeah. Greetings, it is I, Proto Man. I'm here to be emo, cool. Pop in to help you, but then tell you that I'm too cool to help you. I, I you know? feel like Bass is way more emo than Proto Man. I mean, they're both emo, okay? Let's just be real. I don't <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on, on your source material. I, mean, I guess that's true. I guess a lot of my Proto Man source material is the, is the Mega Man cartoon slash anime that they had. Yeah. Or, or he's like, you know, nobody understands me. I have an experimental power core and nobody loves me. You I know, see. Which, which is this like the, you know, super fighting robot Mega Man? That one? The... I believe so. Okay. I think. Wow. All right. Well, I've got a couple changes today and um, I'm just going to go straight into it and uh, talk about the changes that I've made to the, the core system and then um, introduce cool. our scenario for today. So, uh, today we're actually going to be playing Scenario 2, uh, Robot Master Mayhem. This is based loosely on Mega Man 2 and has features the Robot Master rematch uh, cards in a much bigger way. So this is a game mode where we're gonna, we are going to fight lots of Robot Masters. Um, and Yay. I'll explain the details of that in just a minute, but first I will bring your attention to what's new. Uh, purchasing. So over here on our upgrade slot, I adjusted the price of a few items, and you will also be able to uh, purchase as much as you want in a single turn, as long as you have the money. And there's no well, additional cost. Well, as much as you can afford. Yeah, you can just buy as much as you can afford um, in your turn. All right. Uh, my second update here, this challenge board. The challenge board is something that is used for us for uh, just for dealing out challenges. Um, and the idea is to make uh, So we can finally track it easier. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit easier. Uh, and, sorry. Um, sorry. Somebody mm -hmm. in chat is asking something very important. Oh, uh, yeah. This is my first time here. What the heck is this? This is a remake of Jasco's Mega Man board game that we at Level 99 Games are doing. We've gone through a few iterations. Mm -hmm. This is iteration 5.3. Uh, it's basically like a co-op. It's, it's, it's a cooperative deck builder game right like essentially yep. what it is? i think that's a pretty good way to put it this is a cooperative i like to call it a slot builder because we kind of are making yeah, our own roulette uh slot machines reels in this game let's let's try to avoid robot masters as we've already seen like we've sure. seen airman like 17 times okay. already like, uh sure uh let's see Gemini Man might be okay. Yeah, right. there you go. Yeah, so if there's any of these that bore you, Marco, feel free to swap them out. Like we've seen Needle yeah, Man a couple times already. Yeah, we've seen Needle Man and Guts Man already. Do we have a water already? No, we uh, don't have no. a water. So we could put. No, we do have Oil Man. Never yeah, mind. we have Oil Man. So let's put Fire Man in. We haven't fire seen any Man. of the Fire okay. Boys. Cool. All right. All right. Then uh, that right. will do it. I'll lock these guys in place. So we build our board of Robot Masters. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, and last thing in this update is assisting. Um, you get, in this case, two assists before your next turn. Um, an assist is one draw or, um, the, or the activation of one activated ability, uh, which is a robot master power. All right, so those are our changes. You can assist twice, you can buy as much as you want, and, the, um, and we have this new challenge board. Those are the main core system changes. Uh, so, You're right. Robot Master Mayhem. Our goal is to defeat Dr. Wily. You can't challenge the castle until you've defeated eight Robot Master rematch cards. And if Wily ever has all eight of these cards in play at once, then he wins the game uh, and we lose. All right? A Robot Master rematch card gets spawned each time we draw a Wily symbol, which is this Dr. Wily symbol you see at the bottom of cards. Okay? Since we're playing two player, there's gonna. This is gonna be our starting deck. These are going to delete, and um, these are Wily's reserves over here. So each time that one of us gets defeated, or um, if uh, actually I think that's the only 
uh, condition in this one. Each time one of us gets defeated, a new card will go into the deck. All right. Right. Um, um, so I think one thing we want to point out here is that <laughs> in the previous version, all of you saw last stream, um, the lose condition was tied directly to the deck running out and then us not being able to uh, add more cards to the deck. Mm -hmm. um, in this version of the game, if there's no such thing as like the deck running out. If we run out of cards in the Wily Challenge deck, we mm -hmm. just reshuffle it and nothing bad happens. So bad things only happen when we explicitly die, and okay. the timer is now usually tied to the castle itself, mm -hmm. right? So in this example... When we see the Wily symbols, it doesn't just add stuff to this deck arbitrarily and then we lose if we run out of cards. Instead, what happens is Wily's castle starts filling up and we have to go in there and kill some robot masters ASAP or else we lose, right? So the timer is now, I guess, more tied into the castle. Yeah, than the it castle is be, the timer right? and not the, the deck necessarily. Right. So, yeah. Um, so... Following that, um, how do we win? Well, we can challenge any of the face-up robot masters at any time without leaving our stage that we're currently in. Um, and then uh, the difference with these these cards is that they will each draw two challenges, and they will not trigger so wily symbols here. during a challenge against this these this castle. Okay. Um, Okay. And then uh, finally, end game. If there are ever eight undefeated robots in the middle, we lose. Um, if we've defeated eight of them, then we can battle Wily at the center to win. All right. Right. So, um, I think that's everything. So the changes are pretty straightforward this time. It's not really like a gigantic difference. So let's uh, let's give it a go. Well, and we start up. We, we forgot to talk about some other systems, right? What about uh, these things? Yeah, so last week on uh, when we were working with Jasco um, on the Chaffice, we introduced uh, utility items. So you start the game with one of these items, um, and they give you a additional power. Um, so Marco will get to pick one of these three items to put into his deck. Go ahead and take one. I might go. Gosh, I am so you saw the magnet spoiled beam for choices. in Jasco's stream. So if you want to show, so I'll new, take power adapter. I'll take the then. power adapter. Okay, and then these ones that weren't chosen can be purchased later in the game. Um, I right. will take. Uh, let's see. Um, I'll take the power gear. So when okay. you buy the so, utility card, you get two copies of that upgrade. Right, so at the start of the game, we both start with a utility card, and that's really cool because it essentially allows us to customize our characters and our kits even before we do anything in the entire game, which yeah. is pretty cool. I it like gives that. us a little direction to build in, which is nice. So, yeah, cool. So we're all set and ready to play, and um, let's take a moment and uh, talk about our characters. So, um, for base, I can flip a card. I can pay one weapon energy to flip a card face down. So um, flippy, when flippy, a card flippy. is flipped, the card on top of it, it becomes a multiplier for the card above it. So, for example, this stack would be worth nine power in total. Right. While only still taking up one slot in your tableau, yeah. right? That's correct. So, um, cool. so manipulating your tableau and compounding your really high power cards is important to base. Uh, Proto Man begins the game with three additional high power cards. So he's got an extra four, three, and two in his deck, which skews your results really, really right. high. All right. Um, it also means that he has a lot of extra cards to assist. Right? Yeah. Most yeah, it, people have three less cards. So, yeah, you know, so you can usually assist and assist still have enough to, to do a few challenges. Right. So, right. Uh, so let's talk about what uh, happens in these Robot Master stages. So each stage has a uh, a different effect of its own, um, and uh, well, we can look at those when we pick them, but where do you think you're going to head first, Marco? Any thoughts? Probably somebody that's weak to the weapon that I started with. It yeah. doesn't seem like anybody is weak to bomb. Top Man's got a few So I'll probably go symbols. to Top Man. Yeah, I was about to say it. I was going to go to Top Man because he seems to be weak to bomb symbols. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I was thinking I might do yeah. Snake Man because he's weak against my impact symbol. Um, but that's okay. about it. Um, yeah. So sure, let's uh, let's give it a go. So um, I'll go ahead and take the first turn and show how play works. So I begin on the Snake Man stage. And the effect of this stage is challenges in this stage draw one extra Wily card. So I actually will draw two cards here. So three and three. So for a total of six um, plus three. So I have to beat a challenge of nine. And I Jeez. will go ahead and, uh, and start on that. So if you look at the space here, it shows this uh, animal symbol. If I happen to draw that symbol, I can instant clear the challenge. But I don't have any of those in my deck at first. Um, but it just, just goes to show that the weapon symbols that you buy and that you integrate in your deck can be useful for uh, fighting the bosses, like we can see here in Snake Man's final challenge. That's a boss weakness. Or on the individual stages, you can use them to overcome hazards uh, and get through the stage quite quick. Mm -hmm. So um, Brad's actually going for Snake Man because Snake Man's yeah. weak against his weapon. So here's I'm going one. for Top Man because the stage yeah. is weak against my weapon. So here's zero. So I'll use my base effect. I'll flip this down. That cost me one weapon energy, which is just burn a card from your deck, mm -hmm. and flip this up. So, and then I'll draw one more. So right now I've got four, five. Um, let's go ahead and throw one more card in. Six. Yikes. Uh, why don't you give me an assist, Marco? Let's show how that works. Sure, sure. So an assist Friendship. is one card from the top of your deck. And ah. Marco can assist me up to two times before his uh, before between turns. So right. do you want to throw one more at me? I don't think I'm getting very far fine. Right I mean, now. I'm proto man. I do have the space. Watch yeah. this be an Eddie. Yeah, that's, that's oh, see, there, there you go. go. It's that's, triple. So that's quite a lot. So we beat our target of nine. So I go through here, and then we clean up the um, the tableau, and I can now decide if I want to continue on to the next challenge. Um, actually, we do that before we clean up the tableau. So let me put these back in play. Um, I think that I'll choose not to uh, actually continue on. I'll just stop here. So when I stop uh, okay. to end my turn, I get to purchase. And so in this case, my purchasing power is going to be 3 plus 3 plus 4, so 10 total. So I can buy 10 points worth of items from this deck. I'm going to go ahead and grab another impact upgrade and a plus 2 upgrade. So these sit over here. Are you going to use that to upgrade your I, cards now? I am going so to upgrade a few cards. So here's a question that's never come up. Yeah. Can you upgrade this face down? Um, I don't see why not. I think it's probably for the best if we just let that happen. But um, okay, cool. yeah, that's a good note that I should make. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade Eddie and Beat and Beat with my three cards. So in it, this is a game where the cards come in sleeves and you actually slot these transparent cards over the um, existing cards. Uh, in this case, yeah. because it's Tabletop Simulator, we're just using the stamp function. But the idea is that I'd stack this in front of the sleeve and create a composite card from all of those. Right. So we'll do that. So I'll like apply Mystic those Veil, three. If you've ever played that. Yeah, like v Mystic Veil or Custom Heroes. I think there are a couple others that do it. So I've applied all my upgrades. Great. And then nice. these, and then end of turn, I put these away and reshuffle my deck. You get to go through your deck once per round. Um, right. So after I do my upgrading, Dr. Wily phase. I revealed one Wily symbol, so Wily is going to spawn one Robot Master here. It's Gutsman. Gutsman. And uh, also two minions. And these go to any space with the fewest number of minions in play. So I'll just drop them like this clockwise, um, since cool. we don't have any particular strategy for them. All right, and my turn is over. These will go to discard, and it's Marco. All right. It's -a me. So Marco's going to top I'm man fight stage. This man. Whenever you play a card, if its number is lower than your highest card in play, discard your highest numbered card from play. This Basically, is every time you play a card, gets rid of your I think this thing. stage ruined Jason on the stream. It was, uh, it was oh. rough. Well, good luck, Marco. This might be terrible. <laughs> uh, All right, let's yeah, go. that's correct, uh, Mist. That's the that's um, how they how they composite together. Right. That's a zero. Yep. That's a one. No worries. You um, got it. Wait, well, we need to draw it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's a six. I need to be at a six. Mm -hmm. um, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, you want me to draw one for you? Let me yeah, get the assist I, I need here. some help here. So I'll assist, all right, for three. Yay, we did, we did it. All right. We did it. No Yay. problem. No estimos. So um, you, Marco moves over here. Do you want to continue on? I've actually gonna... gotten rid of a lot of the low... I've, I've gotten rid of a lot of the low numbers in my deck, so There's I actually three should keep going. only three left now, right? All right. All right. So your next challenge um, is going to be a five. Five. Okay, and mm -hmm. oh, Brad, you should you should use the way that we track, right? Like, yeah. So to make sure that we know how many assists so that you've done. Yeah. Right. What's the deal with covering it down to multiply? Why isn't Marco doing that? So that's a power unique to base. I can't do that because yeah. I'm Proto Man. Base can do it as as part of their power. Yeah. Um, each character has a different character power, uh, and I so certain robot masters actually let you do the multiplying face down thing. But by default, my character cannot do that. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's try so to beat once you get five. some weapons, That's you might two. start doing some stacking. Yikes! Yep. Um, okay, that's a two. Yeah, um, surely this will be Tango. Great, no problem. Done, done. Easy. Aces, baby, aces. All right. You got it. all right. So, are you done for the turn? I will be done for the turn. Yes. Okay. Cool. So oh they, man, that's a lot of purchasing power. Eight. Yeah, I raised the difficulty of the castle a little bit after our last test. Yeah, that makes uh, a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, so the cards, um, yeah, it, the cards are actual cards. We won't have stickers in the final game because um, those would be permanent. We're actually going to have um, multiple. So this this card won't right. have this so, bomb illustration on it. It'll have, it'll mostly be clear and maybe have a bomb on the side or something, so that when you sleeve right. it themselves, yeah. Um, we were talking about that, but I think printing the sleeves is a little bit too uh, too much too difficult uh, for um, for our production. It's really expensive to print on top of the sleeves, so uh, this is the way that we'll probably do it. Uh, anyway, okay, did you Wait, buy your stuff, so, Marco? No, not yet, because I, I got enamored by what was happening. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna go buy rush. Actually, how much are bomb symbols? Three. Uh, and I have eight purchasing power. Mm -hmm. I should just buy two bombs. Two bombs? Okay. Anything else? You want to grab a plus and, one? Uh, plus one. Okay. Yeah. And cool. then I'm going to apply all of these bombs. Well, while you apply bombs that, now. I'll go ahead and draw the next Wily card. All right. And then random minions. Uh, I'll skip you for the moment. Okay. And when you apply these, we... Yep. Symbolize that by just delete, yeeting them off the face of the earth. Well, um, so granted, some powers that you swap upgrades around, so I'm not going to yeet them. I'm just going to put them here. Just put them off to the side. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure the wire uh, is actually the only power in the game that that does that. So, so it's, it's probably Michael. Not an issue. Yes. Yes. So basically, if the free slots are open, they're always free. And if for some reason I have to discard the things that are in free slots. Everything slides over to the left, and then if there's still a free slot, it's free. So, yes. Mm. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll continue cards. on into the Snake Man stage. Uh, so, all right. I th hopefully, all the hard cards are gone, and I've just got the easy ones left. So, five, six, seven. All right. This should be no problem. So, I drew this. I activate the power gear, which uh, stomps that. That's a four. Yep, five, and I'll I'll base this, and there's eight. That's an eight. Yep. So. Jeez, Louise. Cool. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then I'll step forward. Do I want to try again with six cards? So um, you can buy just a treble and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna get one more of these. I think that's gonna be enough because I'll have five, six to purchase with. Um, so with my six, I think I will get, uh, trouble would be nice. I think I'll just take one more impact upgrade. Oh, uh, okay. You shouldn't have decked your stuff. I shouldn't crazy, have, yeah, I know. Um, what did I have in play? It no, was just had... two rushes, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then whatever. Well, you could also upgrade them. the face down cards. Yeah. I do want to upgrade yeah, the face down cards. I mean, it's this beat that I want to. 
to right. Smash. You're basically getting rid of all your ones and zeros. Yeah, I'm using, essentially I'm what you're using doing this, is that you're spinning your deck. Yeah, I'm using the the power gear as a deck thinner actually. Uh, yeah. Instead of instead of actually physically removing the cards from my deck, I'm turning them into multipliers that will that will com compress right. themselves, um, but are still useful for power. So I'm I'm thinning my deck without losing my ability to spend weapon energy. All right. Uh, Very smart. Uh, it's yeah. empty, I think. No, there's one more. Yep. Okay. So let's um, uh, let's. Attack. Michael asked, "How many yeah. Wily Castles the base game cover? The base game will cover one and two, and then we're working on expansion that's three and four, and then an expansion that's five and six. Um, but what our our initial, I guess, our offering for the rework is supposed to be one through six. So you'll be able to get it all at once. That's the plan. Nice. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna so just gonna attempt this off. top man stage. All right. Ah, that's a seven. So let's go. Well, that's it. Um, so sorry oh. because I have this um, symbol. I, it says plus one power and lose one weapon energy. So I have to lose the weapon energy. That's a requirement. Uh, but that alone just clears the entire thing because I match yep, the symbol. Because yeah, because this requires a bomb symbol. You use a bomb symbol. You just smash through the entire stage. You want to continue the next one? All right. Oh, of course, I still have thirteen okay. cards. Cool. Um, yeah. Once you upgrade, ah, upgrades are permanent. Um, as for a counter, if you hover over the deck, you can see how many cards are left in the deck. So he can right. see. Oh, he has quite a quite a, a number of cards left. But they're asking, can you move upgrades around after they are used? So yes and no. Certain robot master powers and certain utility yeah. item cards actually let you move upgrades let me, actually, around. I'll just but you can't do it as like, a default action. Uh, yeah, particularly I think it's this, the wire. Uh, yeah, like this plant symbol is good at moving around um, upgrades. So, right. um, so there are effects that do it, but they're not too many because... Mainly because moving, like unslotting and reslotting cards, is slow, and we don't want to. We want to do it in a way that isn't going to slow down the gameplay. Right. So that's a two. That's a zero that discards my two. Here, I'm gonna use the. Um, wait, before you do that's that, Marco. Three. Before you do that, I'm gonna use oh. my character ability as an assist, and, fl and ah. flip that for you. So we have a six. Um, four. Okay, that's Lucky. way that's way more right, than enough. You got it. Cool. Okay. Uh, you're um, gonna do the next one with nine in play. I, nine cards is a lot of cards, Brad. It is a lot of so, cards. Yeah. Like unless I pull like a plus eight, I don't. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay. Well, plus that's four. that's an eight. Well, it's an eight. Now. Okay. Well, Eddie's gone from my deck, so like this can only be houses, right? I guess. Um, uh, I'm already halfway there. Yep, unless you draw a beat, and then you're going to lose ground. Oh, you just... You had I to say it, it. All right, man. I'm going to smack... I'm going to flatten your beat. There. Okay. You can stop the beat. That's a six. If Oh, you've already assisted me twice, yep. so... Yep, I've used two assists. I can't assist further this game. So there's There you go! Total. We did it! All right, no problem. Wow. Uh, wow where are all my bombs, dude? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just printed values that matter for, for this effect. Yes. Why doesn't the four discard this? Because it's not, it only cares about printed values. Yeah. Um, um, okay, and that's, let's see. yeah, when I, I say it's number, it should be it's printed number value. Um, I got to clarify a few terms in the rule book. That's still something that's, that's ongoing for this game. Okay, so my purchasing power is, is a total of... 10, 11. 11. So, yeah. Jeez. Grab some um, trebles. Well, I guess, I guess we're going for a treble. Um, and that goes into my tableau so I can upgrade it on the same turn. And we're also buying an extra bomb symbol with my... That. Ah, wait. Yeah. I only have two. So well, yeah, I'm actually yeah. going to buy a plus. That's right. Okay. Right, right. Cool. I'm going to buy a All plus right. one. And, and stamp these we boys. don't have any Wileys to throw in play, so that's that. All right. Uh, well, I'll continue on um, with my encounter here. So I need... With your uh, uh, power? Yep. So three plus uh, seven. So this is a ten. Stakeman stage is pretty hard. Uh, let's see. I, I right, don't know, so, Brad. You keep saying all the stages are hard. <laughs> 
Well, I tried to make them easier, but uh, it, maybe it's not happening. All right, so I'm going to flip that and replace. Um, and I'll burn one for this. That'll flatten itself. Nice. Flip itself. And burn one for this. So I've got one, two. Uh, so this is six, seven, eight. Uh, let's draw one more. And 11. And that took my go. whole deck. So I am uh, I think I'm all finished. <laughs> to, I'm going to take a lot longer on this stage than uh, than you are on yours. So I've got a total of 7, 8, 9 to spend. Uh, definitely going to grab another um, one more impact, impact so I can symbol. get rid of my last beat. And then I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I had 7. I think I'll take the plus 1. Yeah. Oops. So that. No, you had 9. I had 9? Great. Then I'll take... Two yeah, plus you had ones. seven plus two for your bonus. Okay. Whoops. I put that down. Whoop. Okay. Cool. So let me just do, do a little bit of card. Do you buy here. the upgrades, then use them whenever you want to apply them? So you buy the upgrades at the end of your turn, and then you can then upgrade anything that's on your tableau at the end of your turn. Yep. So you could go through seven challenges, hmm. but you wouldn't be able to upgrade the cards in your first six challenges. You only upgrade the things that are on the last challenge. All right. Um, there we go. Right. So, so but you can those. also choose to buy upgrades and then hold them. Yeah. Right? So, for example, you have a bunch of fours in your yeah. You have a bunch of fours in your tableau, and you don't want to upgrade any of them because they're already pretty good. Then you can just hold your upgrades and wait until your bad cards come, so you can upgrade them. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to fight Top Man now. Yep. So I'm going to need all your power, Brad. All right. I will um, be happy to assist you. So first that's a, challenge oh, Wiley. is a seven. Yep. Okay. I am going to go two, right, one. So that that's unfortunate. That, and you'll lose another one. But yep. that's a four. Well, it's not too bad, right? So, or that's no, a it's five. a five, actually. Yeah. So you only need one more. Uh, and you, the only thing you can draw that, that would kill that is Eddie. Ah, we're done. Uh, I, I almost jinxed it. All right. I, I, I hate you so much. Next challenge is do this to me, man? Okay. Okay. Well, that's uh, a four. Well, that's, well wait, Please wait. wait. That's, that's not going to... Like, anything you draw is going to ruin that. So I'm just going right, to... I'm so just going to go ahead it. and preemptively uh, smash it for you. All right. Well, there you go. Six. Great. Done. We're done. <laughs> Success. Okay, cool. So we succeeded. Brodomance broken. Confirmed. Uh, I think you would have been in trouble if I if you had just drawn that straight. But you, I would have been in trouble. In trouble. Wow. Wow. You said it. You said so it. So when me. you defeat a robot master, so you get yeah, two so here's of the bonus symbol. card. Yeah. So you get a copy of that item. And Sorry, then only one. Right. Um, it's just one, but then you get your normal purchase afterwards. So seven, eight, nine. Uh, so you could easily just right. buy another one if you wanted. Or, so sorry, Top Man's ability is essentially... Seven. Yeah, they go right round, baby, right round. Um, uh, what do you call this? Top yeah. Man can essentially redraw an entire set of cards. Or <laughs> you can uh, mulligan cards because of Top Man, you know, because you spin. Yeah, so um, this is another way to like soft filter your deck so that you can access your powerful cards more consistently. Right, so I'm just going to buy a shield upgrade and I think float the one because I think I want to keep... I don't want to buy an Eddie, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, the one will just disappear. Right. Uh, any bolts you don't use just go away. So. Right. Uh, are you going to apply either of those or are you going to wait to apply uh, so them to your low numbers? I'm, I'm going to wait to apply them to the low numbered cards. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, uh, I'm going to continue. So we have uh, yep, two, two Wiley symbols. To draw. So we're getting to a point where we are going to need to fight these guys pretty soon. Because if it gets to eight, then we do right. just lose. Um, and the two minions, actually the four minions that come out, will go on the lowest of the stages without minions yet. Um, so we now will have to drop a minion on my stage. And now we can go with the fourth one and put it kind of wherever. <laughs> so if you watched any of the previous streams, um, the minions no longer go on the stages themselves. They are on the spaces. They just go onto the stage proper. And I'll about to show you how you to fight. how a minion works. Yeah. yeah. So when your turn begins, sure. like mine is about to here, um, I will um, first of all I'll, I have to engage at, at least one minion if there's one on my space, 
and then I also will flip for the challenge. So I've got a total Jeez. of eight, uh, nine, nine to do. Yeah, and for especially tough trackers, Snake challenges Man's like difficult. some of the Wiley challenges, we can actually use this to track the challenge difficulty. Um, I don't. Right. We have and then you can use the top attractor. Oh, yeah. yeah, you don't right. really need it for the early game stuff, but for some of the late game challenges like this 18, 21, etc., we're gonna probably need to do some crazy uh, adding. Yeah. Um, so the, so cards adds the Wiley cards. So the Wiley cards adds a robot master if it's just extra buying. Yes. So long as you flip over a Wiley card, even if it's just extra buying power, it does proc a new robot master to come in. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, so I've got, uh, I've got eight right now. Um, and I need one more. So let's just go ahead and throw one more card at this. All right, cool. So there you go. I'll succeed that. And I still got six cards left. I think I could take on one more of these. Uh, so each Wily castle is very different. So this is Robot Master Mayhem, and it's doing this thing. Um, the other castle, Castle 1, uh, their gimmick is that Wily's sending out all of these random robots onto the stages. And if any stage ever gets a duplicate of a uh, minion, it explodes the stage. Yeah. Uh, and you can't, you can't get that Robot Master anymore. So. Um, and you lose if Wily explodes too many stages, is essentially the way it goes. Yeah. So that one, Wily just spits out a bunch of minions to take over the world. Um, this one is a little bit more, uh, more nuanced. Yeah. But anyway, and we've already I've previewed got... the Mega Man Six board, which is like pseudo PvP. So yeah, we'll show yeah. those off again at the end of the stream after we we clear this uh, this sure. this game. But I've um, so I've got a, I've got to beat an eight on this one. So let's uh, you can go do for it, it, Brad. Uh, I I feel pretty good I about believe. it. So I'm gonna. Um, I'll keep that, and I'll keep that. That's five. Um, I'm gonna actually base. You need a three. I'm gonna base my rush, and then that'll go down, and then that'll go down. And oh then... my god! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I've outstacked myself, uh, Brad. Um, this the is pretty hubris. bad. Hubris. Yeah, um, my I'm, my hubris. I can help you. I can help you. Uh, I don't think you can help um, me out of this, Marco. Uh, even with two assists. Why? It's Maybe if you draw two threes. It's a... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I draw yeah. two threes or a single bomb, it, it'll yeah. basically win you. Okay, let's see what happens. So. All right, so five, six, seven, eight. That's just enough to beat this challenge. All right, thank you for, for protecting see, me from my own here. hubris, Marco. Um, so emo and help you. Yeah. So I've got, in this case, four, five, six, seven, uh, ten, eleven to spend. Um, and I see oh, that I see the the uh, the error of my ways. I'm gonna grab a treble. Um, and nice. let's see. Red, sorry, people in chat are asking if mm -hmm. uh, there's gonna be a robot master refight card for every robot master. Of course, of course there is. Okay. What do you what do you think? Of course, um, so uh, we get one Wily. We might even have a couple like classic mini bosses in here that just show up during the, the sub boss matches too. Um, so we need Ooh. to, so let me double check my numbers here, but I've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I've spent nine. Uh, I'm going to buy a plus one and I'm just going to drop it here on trouble. So trouble right. is now a five. Yep. And then, uh, we'll put all this in the deck. All right. And, um, now we have to add our intern stuff, Wiley. Drops I, already, I already added oh, you did. it. I already okay. added it. All right, great. It's hard, man. And you added, did you add two? So one will go here, since that's lowest, and one will go, let's, let's throw it on Elect Man. All right. And then, boop, boop, boop. OK. Mm -hmm. So uh, we might need to fight some I of these think... robot masters, Marco. I'm just gonna start fighting some robots. So I started blasting. Um, yeah. Like, so do I have to fight them in a particular order? No, or you can, can fight just... any of the robot masters that are shown. However, they do and instead of they doing do my regular double draw. So watch out for that. It's okay. I'm gonna fight Hard Man. He's he's weak to me. So okay. Cool. So whenever you would play a one or zero, it's discarded instead. Keep in mind that's when you would play. So the card will not actually hit the table. Um, are you ready? Let's go. Okay. I might need some assists on this, Brad. 
Uh, I'll try. Yikes! All right, so here's seven. Yeah. There's uh, twelve coming at you. Twelve. All right, let's go. So that disappears. Oh, that's a zero. So that just. I uh, see. He's already helping me out. Hard man, such a bro. Um, that's a three. That's a two. Um, I'll discard one and then draw. That's a four. So seven, this eight, is already nine, an yeah. eleven. So um, uh, I need a three. I'll I'll assist you. So, but it's very likely because my deck does have low numbers. It's very likely that I will like blow up. Um. So let's see. So yeah, this just gets discarded with nothing. Ah, uh, rip. Remember, All right. I'm just gonna table. discard. And that's a two. I just need a one. Uh. Yep. I can assist you again, but it means I won't be able to assist you during the next one. So I guess it's better. Right. I think better. I think we drew. Yeah. All right. Yeah, probably better. All right, there's a five. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay. So you're on to step two of this. Hopefully, you still have some bombs in there. All right. Hopefully. Uh, nope. Yikes. It's another Come seven. On, so game. there's thirteen. And you get no That's help from me. Right. So, so you're just gonna have I'm to just gonna go here and get hubris. Oh, there you go. Lose Houses, baby. All right. So Houses. six. Houses. Yeah, we won. Fourteen, twelve. Uh, did you? I think you've got 12. What? Uh, this is a 9, my sir. A 9? What? Yeah, because that's a 3, that's plus 3, and then it's weak to bomb. So oh, it's that's weak to bomb. Nine. Right. Okay, cool. So you've defeated that. Good job. So with Houses, seven, more, baby. 7 more robots defeated, then we uh, we get to finish the uh, and note, challenge And this is because... Because yeah. I'm killing this in the castle, yeah. it doesn't proc Wily symbol. Yeah, when you're attacking the castle here, you won't trigger more robot masters spawning. Um, right. So, uh, Mist, uh, Jasko is planning to launch this. Uh, we're hoping August or September. We don't have a concrete date yet, but we think that the design will right. be done close to middle to end of August. Uh, or, like, design and, and most of the development right. will be ready. So it'll be in a in a stable state in uh, in August. Right. Um, so and, Stephen Rollins, yeah. have you considered having a? Sorry, sorry. Oh, are go you ahead. Still talking? No, I was actually just Steve about Rons to read the same question as you. <laughs> All right. Have you considered trying to rem have a purchase power to remove stuff from your deck? We used to have that, right? Yeah, we we did have that option. Um, but what I've been exploring more is the kind of soft removal that, like the top right. shield and the uh, the power gear that instead of taking the card out of your deck, use it in a different way. Because um, like weapon energy is our deck, it's actually pretty bad to take cards out of your deck. What you really want is you want say. a card to be useful every time you see it. And so the, right. the symbols and the upgrades uh, really are there more to mitigate the numbers than, to, than flat removing them. So a couple right, powers exactly. do, especially power fire-based powers, will give you ways to trash cards. But trashing is not an option that's available to all players all the time. It's an option that some players I've can get in some decks. Uh, did you already do I have your buy? Seventeen. Yeah, I think. No, you, but I have, I have seventeen, 17 to, buy. to buy. Crazy. We're buying a treble for one, so we still have eight. Yeah. Oh, how about boy. a plus three treble? I'm Just gonna make it a seven. <laughs> no. Um, okay. We need to buy more shields. Um, so there's still three, uh, and I think we're going to buy a bomb. Yeah, the bombs are pretty good. Um, my low cards keep not showing up when I'm upgrading. Yeah. This is a. So we did truly add one more uh, change in 5.2, which is that you can take a turn to go to the lab and retool your deck. Light. So if you decide right. you want to light, you have a bunch of upgrades and you're just not hitting the cards that you want to upgrade you can light lab and retool your deck. Um, so right. which is essentially you pull two three cards and then that's a buying power. Mm -hmm. But it always so it quote unquote pretends that you have at least wild, one wily symbol anytime you do that. So yeah. One extra wily symbol. So in this in this right. game especially we have to be real careful about that. Uh, so I'm going to fight Snake Man. Uh, let's see what happens. I think my impact symbols are actually going to be useless because they flip themselves when they come into play. I didn't even think about this. <laughs> but uh, this is probably pretty bad. Brad! 
I, the best laid plans of mice and yes, men. Yes, I've, I've outfoxed myself. I know. All right. So first challenge with Snake Man is going to be a six. Oh, my God. So nine uh, plus one is ten. So uh, let's just do that. Um, there's a two. I think I'll go ahead and base my two. So there's six. All right, that's a six. Seven, eight. Um, okay, wait, wait. Before you do anything, I'll just assist you. Yeah, give me an assist, Marco. That is a two. You're done. All right, cool. Um, so there. And then for the next one, two and four is six. So ten again. Let's uh, see what happens. So there's a That's two. a two. Are you going to flip it? Um, I'll wait and see what my next one is. Okay, it's also two. Yeah, I'm going to smash one of those. Oh, the hubris. Here it comes. No, nope. right, okay. There's, a, there's an Smash. eight. Um, and I'll throw one more card right. at it. All right, here's, here's, uh, yep. Yep, there's, there's the hero. Wait. Save me, Marco. Save me. You couldn't have done that, Brad. You couldn't have done that. Why not? Oh, right. It doesn't, it doesn't, yeah, it. actually give me the draw. Um, okay. Go ahead, Marco. I'm going to need you to, to proto man in and save me. Nope. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Wait, didn't you have one more assist? Nope, I already used one of my assists. When? They helped you last turn. Oh no! Oh no! You die, Brad. Right, I die. die. Uh, so what happens in this case? Brad, the hubris. What happens in this case yeah, where well, I die? This is good. Um, so first of all, um, I get my normal buying turn. So that that all, all happens. Mm -hmm. So five, uh, eleven, fourteen. Um, to spend, I will take another treble, and um, with five remaining, I'll take a plus two upgrade. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that on treble. <laughs> um, so I've spent all my stuff. What happens next is that Wiley will um, add another card to the deck. So he adds this card, and when this card comes in, the lowest, the lowest uh, numbered card goes out of his deck, which is going to be I believe, I believe it's a plus two. A plus one. Ah, uh, plus one. So that vanishes. Oh, okay. And then this all comes together. Um, and See, this is all part of our master plan, because so, uh, quite honestly, it just means we get better buying power. Uh, sure. And then a Wily card was revealed <laughs> during that, so another Robot Master pops out. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, what happens when you uh, when you try to go big, but you go home instead. Right. It's mostly because I use those Big two cards to help bread. Marco on his turn. That's what I'm going to say. What? Yeah, it's because I have uh, two, Marco. Scammed. Um, oh, All Top right. Man is here. Yep, you can fight. You can refight Top Man. Except he's even no. harder. No. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. He's even harder. Yeah. Um, yeah, but this is filling up, dude. We need to. Yeah, we definitely need to fight, fight some these. Boys. After, after you could, um, you can take on Flashman. He's also weak against your bombs. Yeah, I'm gonna try Flashman. This is this is just the true Proto Manist yeah. move. Is that instead of going through the stages, I'm just like holding back. You just you're just fighting the, the on the front lines. All right. Right. <laughs> it's like uh, I know Wily Castles are going up to Mega Man Six. Is the plan for Robot Masters to cover the same? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, each um, each expansion comes with the sixteen robot masters that cover those two games. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go fight Flashman now. All right. Uh, That's oh, a trouble. Let me, if you're fighting Flashman, let me draw you some cards. So there's a uh, ten to start out with. Well, I only need a two. So. Do you want me to assist you? Uh, yeah. Sure. All right. There's you. There you go. <laughs> Cool. Brad, I think we have the luck of the gods. Yeah. This, well, I well, do. You, you have the luck of the gods. Yeah, Tim, the assist rules <laughs> have changed. Uh, this is the current assist that we're working with right now, um, which is, yeah, you can assist two times between your turn in total. Right. That's oh, two. Uh, Marco, I should probably That's draw your cards too. So there's seven. Uh, so this needs an 11. Okay, so this is two, uh, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So okay, I currently have one ten. More. I think I need one more. Yeah. All right. Well, there. We... Right. Cool. That's success. <laughs> also, you lose two after the, the round ends. Uh, that's okay. I have enough. Yeah. 
But if if you need to lose weapon energy and you can't, like say he pulls a bomb and his deck he is died. empty, you actually just lose the challenge right there. So things like that right, can really uh, can take you by surprise. All right, so you cleared Flashman. Congrats. All right, so I, this is not too bad. We got this under control. Yes. Um, and here's your uh, purchase, which is five, six, seven, uh, 14. Oh, 14, 14. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot. Do I just want to keep adding more truffles to my deck? Probably. Wait, don't do that. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, Marco. Here you go. I'm sorry, go ahead. All right. You There's want more bombs. I can't believe you mostly want more bombs. More bomb? Bombs, uh, so yeah. how much buying power do I have? More 17? As, the, as, as Fabio would say. 14, 14. Yeah. So I'm going to go buy another treble, actually. Okay. And that was the last of the troubles. Wow, I've I've eaten up all the troubles. The, the, I'm there's so only like five in the game. So aside from the two that start in your deck. So that's, uh, yeah. Uh, that's better. Okay, I'm going to buy a bomb and then I'm going to buy a plus one. All right. And I'm going to start applying some of these upgrades. I'm going to put a shield symbol on this rush. And then I'm going to... I'm going to go put a plus one on one of these troubles. And I'm going to put one bomb on one of these troubles. Whoa. So now, like, my deck is pretty uh, <laughs> explosive, if you could say that. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. All right. And refresh my deck. Yep. All right. So uh, what's chat saying? I'm not sold on the target number deck building yet. It's way more fun it's than it's you it's think it's it's it is. I just there's... Yeah, I think um, I think it's definitely one of those things that sitting at the table, like, do I draw one more card? Do I use my abilities? Um, it's it's got a bit more excitement to it when you're playing it yourself when you're driving. But definitely, once you get more activated powers in your tableau, uh, things also really pick up. Right. So I think the real fun of this game isn't necessarily the. I think the real fun isn't like oh this boss is. Omega difficult and blah, 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 blah. I think the real fun comes from the fact that it's like, there's a number that you have to meet and then you have to Rude Goldberg machine your way to get there, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it's a deck builder. Like that's yeah. how that's how they work. So that's nine. Uh, um, I'll throw one more card at this. All right. That's, that's it, bunch. Brad. You've housed this guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wait, then... is that actually enough? Yeah, it's actually enough. It's uh, seven plus three. Oh, that's a ten. ten. Okay. So... This one is going to be, yeah, 7, so 11. Oh, there's a Robot Master symbol yeah. here. No! Um, but you don't have to take our word for it. Uh, you can always just try the game yourself because we are going to make this module public. So Eventually, yes. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like Marco dropped out, so we'll uh, wait for Marco to reconnect here. Um, yeah. So... Anyway, so I've got six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still Am I still on more. stream? You are still on stream. Your video is doing fine. Out. Okay. I, okay. I, just, I don't know. My tabletop simulator just crashed. Hmm. So Yeah, just rejoin when you get the chance. Um, I got a Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't to, be too hard. Yeah. So anyway, so my total buying power is 8, 12, 15, so 17 at this point. Um, I am going to take two of these plus threes, actually. Uh, so I'll just go whoop whoop for nice. 16 and go ahead and, and stamp those on stuff. All right. So I've defeated Snake Man and I'll go ahead and take this yeah, yeah. cool prize and uh, let's see what this does. So draw two what cards, is, uh, what is your... discard one and play the other. So it gives me some more filtering control. And then at the end of the challenge, plus one power per unique weapon symbol in your discard. So I can look for all the symbols in my discard, of which I will probably have two usually. Um, so each one of my uh, animal symbols might give me plus, up to plus two. Um, I'll go ahead and grab one of those that comes for free with Snake Man, and just put it on Rush to get started. I got this power mostly for the uh, the draw two play one, um, because once you have right. a big stack, that's pretty important to do. I saw so Matthew just said the real fun of this game is when somebody asks you for help and you whistle the proto man theme, yeah. then dramatically flip a card. That's how I feel this entire game. 
So every time Brad asks for help, I just like nonchalantly flip flip up a four. <laughs> yeah. So um, Stephen is asking uh, the the stacking only multiplies your base number, so it makes the most sense when I can get my hands on like threes and fours. Um, it won't multiply all the Sorry. symbols. Sorry. Although, considering... Brad, are you saying that it multiplies the base number? <laughs> family friendly, Brad. Family friendly. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to draw some minions. Sorry. Um, let's see. Yeah, one and two. All right. Um... I think, uh, do you think we're ready to take to on this robot? castle, Marco? Well, I I don't know. That's what I've been doing for the past three Oh, turns. sorry. Do you think I'm ready to take on this castle? <laughs> we know you're ready. I, I don't know. Do you have enough symbols to actually make your snake search snake work? Um, I think so. I mean, the search snake is, is, is just, uh, is really more for once so I'm about they- to go off. Right. So the utility powers are they're essentially just one sided robot master powers. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. They're just more basic robot master powers. They also take up the same kind of slot that the robot master power takes up. Yeah, that's so. something that I'm probably gonna explore a bit more in the future. But yeah. Right. So uh yeah, I think I'm gonna have to fight some dudes yeah. here. Um so yeah, these utility items they um they can they just are passive powers. Right. So, uh, yeah. So, who but are you gonna fight? You can't have more than one of the same passive power, right? So, yeah. for example, if if I were to say beat Bomb Man, I would lose my power adapter. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Well, you would. Be, would you would have Bomb to choose. Yeah, okay. You'd have to choose. Do you want to keep Bomb Man or do you want to keep the power adapter? Because you only have one. You uh, would obviously... one tool of each symbol type in your in right. your tableau. But of course, you would take Bomb Man, right? Because Bomb Man has the same passive. Bomb Man is basically the power same power, but better. Yeah. Um, right, because you have an active and uh, attached to it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Who can I fight? I think. I think I have enough deck to take on Gutsman, so I think I'll fight Gutsman. Okay. So we'll fight Gutsman. So first things first, lose two immediately. Uh. uh right. I already dropped out okay. two for you. So. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. So we will go in. That's a treble. You Sorry, we need to, to see how much up. pluses. Are. Yeah, so six so and uh, ten. ten. Yeah, and I think if uh, honestly, if I could, I would probably make this a dice, but I don't think that we're going to be able to add more dice components to the game than than there already are. So, All right? Uh, yeah. Can you flip my rush? Sure, I will uh, base your rush down. So that's one assist. All right, multiply my base. Well. <laughs> Well, that sucks, but I guess that's fine. I'm not too upset to see this beat. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a 10. Oh, wait, I think that's a 10? Yeah. So you've no, got that's not enough. 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Uh, no, this is only a... Yeah, because oh, yeah. it doubles. Yes, yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. Ah, nice. Cool. So you beat the first challenge here, and then the next one is going to be the really tough one. There's a 15. Oh, come on, world! you. I lose two. And you lose two more. Yeah. Okay. I have 10 cards to beat this. Uh, okay, flip this, please. If you, if you really want me to. Okay. All right. I feel like I could do so much well, more than just flip your top card over, but you're just going to have to play everything as it is. Yeah, I'm just going to have to play everything yeah, as it there is. There are no dice oh, in that's the a treble. Oh, there, there's a treble. And that's definitely enough, that's right? Seven, like, uh, yeah, 11... Uh, yeah, that's plenty. Cool. All right, you're powering yeah. through these guys. Um, and here's all yeah. the stuff. And because we're in the castle, those yeah. so wily symbols don't matter. 16. So you can buy two plus threes if you want. Two plus threes. I could buy two plus threes. Actually, I want to buy one shield. Mm-hmm. Uh, then one plus... Wait. Sorry, how much do I have? 16. 16? 16. Mm-hmm. So I can buy a shield and buy a plus three. Yep, um, and still have three left if you want another bomb. And still, and uh, do I need another bomb? Um, yeah. Is it a good Bombs idea? Bombs are pretty good. Uh, all right. So I will stamp all of these on, actually. 
So this treble is now <laughs> plus three treble, baby. Yeah. Um, this shield symbol will go here. And this other bomb symbol will go here. So I believe that's one, two, three. So I think I'll take on Oil Man. I think this, this is an effect I think I can beat with my deck. Yeah, all right. Pretty oily, Brad. Yep. Uh, so first challenge is going to be at difficulty 12. And so my first card with any symbols comes into play face down. Uh, I'll stack um, that. Red. I'll stack that. Yep. Oh no. Um, and so that oh, there is, you go. That's, that's sixteen. That's so cleared. Yeah, Brad's popping uh, off. Yeah, who's popping off now, Marco? All right, and then um, next challenge is going to be a twelve again. Um, first, so that doesn't have any symbols. Uh, that one does, so it's going to go, go down. Um, I'll draw onto that. The two, I think I'll. Need help? I'm gonna base this. One. I don't think you need my help. Yeah, I think I got it. So that's uh, so if I do this this way. So yeah, that's, that's done. Nine, though. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, cleared. Yeah, we got that. No problem. Cool. Um, and your purchasing power is a lot. Yep. Um, uh, you have fifteen. Fifteen. Cool. Um, so I actually want to take. I'm gonna take one, two of these. So that's twelve. And then, um, in order to actually power up the animal symbols, um, I will take. Symbol, yeah. yeah, I'll start loading up on other symbols. Um, so that yeah. was. I just realized 12, that 14, one of us has to inevitably go into a stage because yeah. there aren't enough robot masters 15. on the board for us to be. Yeah. So I'm actually getting an Eddie. Um, and actually, let's do it like this. Instead of getting this six, I'll get this uh, one. Two, three, four, five, and I'll stamp these oh, eddies with decals. Ah, so this is the use of eddies. If you just essentially want some symbol boys. Yeah, um, I just want to have a lot of symbols so that I can proc my uh, the, the search snake effect here, and then yeah, for the good. actual search snake itself, um, I will put it on uh, rush this. Rush. Uh, whoops. Oh, blades. Yep. All right. So. Ah, there you go. Yeah. This this uh this is definitely a bit uh wilder than the last game we played. Yeah. Like, like I'm being able to buy multiple copies of, of upgrades is is pretty crazy. Yeah. So, um. So Brad, I think you should be the one to enter a stage. Does that uh, make sense? Okay. Sure. That's fine. I'll do. Because you need symbols this. more than I do. Sure. And I have more symbols than you do, so that works. Uh, okay, so I'm going to fight Bubble Man. This, this one's pretty tough. Only the first copy of each printed power value counts. So if you draw two fours, only the right. first four matters. But remember that I get a lot of my power from bombs. Yeah. So I think I should be fine. Famous last words? Right. Yeah, famous, famous last, last words. words. So... Uh, first, that's not too bad. first challenge nine. is only nine. That's a four. That's a two, but we bomb it. So I think so that's, that's it. That's success right? <laughs> for the first, yep. And then three and six. So you've got ten to go. That's a ten. Uh, do you wanna... So when I do this, I do it instantly, right? Yeah, so this will go to your to the bottom and then you'll draw the next one to replace it. Yeah. All right. You want uh, well, to I don't like that. that one too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't like that one. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's a treble. Uh, that's a sorry. That's a tango. Three, five. Uh, that's a two. I mean, you got this. I think there's no yeah. problem here. Oh, there you go. We bomb him. <laughs> okay. Cool. Easy peasy. Um, so we have to clear eight robot masters before fighting the castle. That's the current rule set. There's only seven on the board. Uh, yeah, there's only seven on the board right now. I'm feeling that six might be enough um, in this in this case. So we could hotfix that if we want to. But you have to fight eight in the game. Uh, actually, did I believe have, in I believe in two. You only have to fight uh, six of them. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so that's yeah. 13 buying power. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys can't see here, but this is the power that's, that Marco's using with his bombs. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go buy uh, an extra shield symbol. So that's uh, I have seven buying power left. Then I'm gonna buy um, two bombs. Yeah. So I'm just going to, um, for the sake of, of our show, and, and also for to for like what you know is truly to reflect what's really happening in this game. I think I'm gonna set this at six before we challenge the uh, the boss. So. Okay, so um, we can challenge the boss if you beat yeah. your next boy. Yep. So I'll just uh, go over here and. Uh, da, 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 uh, where is that one? Um, yep. Once the players have defeated six robot masters, uh, they gain access to the castle, uh, and that feels a bit better because we are at the one-hour mark for uh, for two players. So this is about where the game should be right. hitting conclusion. Ending. Um, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, this so this this map is not really focused on fighting the outer robot masters a lot. It's uh, it's more on fighting these rematch cards that we have. Um, and I'll fight Top Man this time. The robot masters are different than those stage cards around the middle of the board. So the robot master rematch slash refight cards are essentially just. Um, so Brad, can you zoom in on uh, yeah. Shadow Man here? Oh, sure. So the Robot Master rematch parts are essentially just this part of the stage, right? Yeah, the, the, the last encounter plus the whatever stage effect the stage has. And we I think actually, this is a better illustration. Probably right? show off uh, Shadow Man's. Yeah, here, I have Top Man. I have top oh, man. you have Top Man, right. So, yeah, so I you have can Top Man look and this at is these man, together so. and kind of see that they, they are the same thing. Right. Um, except when he fought Top Man the first time, he only had to use one challenge card. In this case, since we're in the castle, we're using right. two, which does drastically increase the uh, the difficulty. Difficulty. Um, yeah. But if you're fighting them in the castle, you already supposedly, like in the true Mega Man style fashion, right? The boss could be harder, but because yeah. you've gained so much power throughout the game, you're now We've way stronger than the robot fully, master. Yeah, fully created. So, right. uh, Great, so this is going to be a nine... 14. Ability. So W in this game is a card from the top of your deck. So when it says lose W, it just means discard the top of your deck. And if you have to discard while your deck is at zero cards, you quote unquote die. Right? So. So I. Okay, Brad's popping off. I top man lost that card. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to go ahead and base flatten that. Um, oh. You yeah, get a base flat in that. Good. I can't. I can only do one per turn. Uh, so that's what I get. Uh oh, Brad. Yeah, I know. I might have Brad's just, a hubris again. I might have just toast myself again. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there's two. What are you fighting, Top Man? Huh? Um, yeah. You're fighting Top Man, yes? I'm going to assist. I'm going to assist at this point. Okay. Hey, um, why don't you use your, your uh, top spin ability? Okay, sure, fine. I'll top spin your your side, and then that gets rid of like four cards, and okay. then you get to draw four cards. Yep. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And I believe it's that like yeah, nothing happens when you play those cards. I just four yeah, cards you don't get your simple powers. Yeah. Um, I'm still nowhere near beating this guy, so I'll throw one more. Uh, oh wait, but it's top man, so this like bombs out. Um, okay. Why did this bomb out? Uh, because of the impact symbol. Because of my power gear. Uh, yeah. Okay, so technically, some really bad things happened to you, Brad. Wait, yeah. we're not yet. Well, done no, we're not actually. So you play actually effects. played this, right? So no, I only played you, this. Yeah, you're not active. But this actually discards this rush, right? No, it'll discard the treble here. No, it discarded the. You played the cards in sequence, right? So you played treble. Eddie, Eddie. Then you played Rush. It mm -hmm. flips the treble. Then you play Beat. Then it fits Rush, right? Well, no, because I'm I'm not. Well, yeah, I guess that if you, it depends on what the what your definition of play is. And this is where we get to where they, the technical side of things. But yeah, if I have to play each of these in sequence, then I play this. Eddie discards this, and then Eddie, and then Rush, and then Beat discards this, and then Beat flips himself down, and then I'll draw. Well, Beat card. doesn't flip because. Uh, oh, because yeah. not to activate. Right. 
So you're right. So then I will need to discard one to draw one, and that'll flip down. And then uh, I'll discard one to draw one, and so I've got six, okay. seven here. Yeah, I think we're dying here. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely like uh, losing this battle. I'll give it one more shot uh, just to try and clear here. Um, sure, so I'll play Rush, which bombs out this. Um, and then uh, I guess I can't play mm -hmm. any more cards. So I've got one plus five is six, uh, and then I'll evaluate the power of my uh, symbol. That's one symbol? Of my, uh, yeah, of my discard pile here. Oh, geez, nothing. Yeah, which is uh, like nothing, because it's not really built yet. So I definitely die oh. and fail this challenge. That was right. pretty bad. So we uh, add yeah, the top spin was to like the, the worst weapon to use in this case. All right, yeah. so one of those gets added. Well, you're right. Uh, uh, I've added to the deck. Yep. Your buying power is a lot. That's 18. Uh, um, yeah. So AJ Falk says, for the Wily Gate, what about you can fight the castle stages while there are no robot masters in play? That's kind of interesting, but also we want the condition to key you in, right? To to when you should actually fight the castle. Does that make sense? Right? Like, if it's just, like, if there's nobody, and then that means people can just enter it at the start of the game. So that's kind of weird. It doesn't key the player into when they should attempt the castle, right? Nine. Yeah. Okay. This is what I'm buying for 18. Do you really want to get a bunch of zeros, Brad? So I'm, I'm, I, I realize the error of my ways, but I got a better plan this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two right. zeros, and I'm going to stamp each one with so with this, so they'll flip down, and then I'll also stamp them with another symbol so that they proc my um, uh, what's it? My uh, my search, search snake. snake ability. So whoops. Sorry, you bought two electricity symbols. So yeah, I meant to buy a bomb. A bomb. That was my mistake. So all right. I'll all get right. you a bomb. The last bomb. All right, I'll destroy it. All right, now I'm ready. I think to beat one of these guys again. But uh, so you added the an additional okay. five to his deck. Uh, it was whatever the top card was. Yeah. So I guess that was a five. Okay. So great. At this point in time, I don't think I want to beat the robot master and steal your thunder. No, go ahead. Actually, I should it's just okay. beat the robot master and steal your thunder. You should, yeah. Go ahead and, and uh, actually, I just want to see you blow up like I blew up. So I'm encouraging you to go ahead and try it. These guys are both. Really I'm gonna hard. go fight. Uh, I'm gonna go fight Fireman. All right. So Fireman okay, uh, says all of your cards numbers are reduced by one. So this first challenge. Oh, the first is challenge a 10. is just a ten. Yeah. Okay, so we bomb. Yep, so that's five, six. Um, okay, uh, we seven. shuffle that down. You want to no, shuffle it down? Back in? Okay. Yep. So we know this is going to be the beat, right? No. No. Okay. I mean, you did reshuffle. Um, so currently that's you've fair. got, uh, yeah, four, five, six, seven. Currently I've got five. Six, seven, yeah. And I need to beat the 10. Yeah, I so will I just I'll assist you. One. I'm going to... I'll drop this down. Oh, well, sorry, Brad... Marco. Not as useful. Yeah. If you, sh if you just let me do the thing. All right, I'll just leave you to your own devices now. All right, so there All you right, go. That's Three, it, we're done. Uh, four, five, six... No, nine. that's not enough. Yeah, it's not, because I... Ruined your... Uh... Because you flipped my thing. <laughs> Sorry, Marco. Uh... <laughs> so in the first uh, uh, I'm not gonna expansion be able to of this game, there is PvP, and we can, um, like... Yeah. Uh... I guess I can assist you again. Yeah, I, I just... I Here, guess. I'll assist you I again. I don't have enough cards anymore. All right, uh, there you go. Uh, search snake, search snake. So that's that's All a right. one, which is nice. enough to, to do it. All right. All right. Uh, um, surely you'll be able to beat the next one, though. See, Marco. if I lose this challenge, it's Brad's fault, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one is only going to be a 12. No problem. 
quote unquote only I've assisted 12. you twice, so it's all you now. Yeah, I, I. We know one of these is a bad rush, so. Oh, <laughs> we know two of these is a bad rush. Well, the last three cards in your deck are that same rush, so. All right, so you got okay, four, so... five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you only need, uh, what, like thirteen more, or sorry, you need uh, to get uh, twelve total. So. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no doing this. All right, Marco loses. Uh, Yay! Take that, Marco. This is, this is all Brad's fault. Sandbag. Oh yeah, sure, sure. You can blame it on Brad. What? <laughs> yeah, At least you get I to buy wasted stuff. three cards. At least you get to buy stuff. Yeah, I just, I just I get to buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is sort of upsetting. All right, uh, I'm going to go... Oh, there's no more bombs. There's no more bombs? Oh, that's... you bought all the bombs in the game? Wow. So that's that's a 16. I'm just going to get two plus threes. Okay. Um, and then put this plus three on this treble. So, yep. uh... Okay. Okay, and actually... <laughs> Actually, this is really cool. I I never really thought about it this way. I think I've found a quote unquote infinite combo. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, where you just like bomb rushes you like bomb shield shield bomb on rush and you just flip cards in your deck until you until you get enough bomb power to win automatically. Right. Exactly. Um so I'm gonna do the light lab turn. So the way that this works is I flip three bonus cards. And I'll buy with this 12 that's on the table. Um, and what I'm going to buy is going to be 5, 6, and uh, 7, 8, 9. So I'm gonna Chat buy... says that Brad is lying and he just wants to see Marco blow up. I'll buy Chat this. agrees with me. Yeah. And then, um, at the so I go straight to buying. I can tool my deck however I want, but I'm really just going to put stamps on this Eddie card. So... Um, <laughs> like that and then right. um also because this counts as having one yeah. wiley we, so when we, we get to the wiley to the wiley step we'll on add one wiley to play so this so this will count as though yeah uh we drew a wiley symbol so oh, I'll magnet drop man some enemies onto the board i'm gonna go fight magnet man so yeah but it gives us one more robot master to fight so in this case we don't have to go to a stage just because we can actually uh, go and tool up. All right, so you're going to fight Magnet Man, uh, and he keeps one of your cards in play each time. All right? Right. That's good, because I want that. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's one, two. So you've got Yikes. nine. Uh, so 14. 14. Yep. All right. Oh. Uh, that's terrible. Um, Here. Uh, are you going to flip this one, Brad? Uh, nah, it's okay. All right. I've learned my lesson about hey, that's flipping trouble, cards. Too bad. Flipping, flipping the cards, baby. Okay, we're gonna rush shuffle that okay. back in. There you go. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> shuffle. All right. All right. Um, so in this yeah, case, that's, that's like, more than this enough. This is kind of right? where I want to like use the abacus here. So you've got currently eight um, plus uh, three is eleven. Uh, plus one is 12. So now you're at 12 right now. Oh, plus, plus three another more. three. Yeah, one, two, three. So boom. All right. And then you're on to challenge two. Ows. And, and it actually keeps my rightmost card, so I just have a default seven. Well, yeah, you have a default seven. It won't trigger the bomb again. But, uh, right, right, right. But I have a default seven. That's still pretty good. Do? All right, so this is six plus eight, so that's another 14. Okay. Well, we bomb again. Then, all right, uh, so, so that's 13. That's 13. See, you got this, Mark. Like, You're going to win this Eddie. whole game without me. All right. Success. Yay. All right. No problem. Um, all right. So we got six cards. So now we Matthew. can start fighting these. These. Uh, yeah. Yeah. These boys. Uh, sorry. I got to buy. Yep. Uh, why did I do that? It's okay. I Marco. need to. What was here? It was the tango well, while, and the single while treble. While Marco right? is powering up, I'm going to go ahead and attempt the Wily Castle get this show on the road um, all right so this is going to be um 
18 plus a bunch of numbers. So this is where we really want to like start using this thing to track because the numbers are getting ridiculous. Um, I'm going to move these out of the way, Marco. Okay. So my current total is 8 plus 18. So I need a 26 to beat this challenge. Um, so this is going to be pretty tough, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, I'm feeling good about it. So that's a 2. Um, I'll use base to flip this over. Um, so that's 6, 7, 8. Uh, reveal. That'll compress. Um, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're currently at 14. Um, I'll throw a search snake. So I'll flip two of these. And I'll keep treble in play here for another five. Uh, all right. So I just need seven more power to beat this. And I think I'm in a good place to do it. So that, yeah, there right. you go. <laughs> so that's two more. Plus, it'll be some uh, unknown number that uh, I get to see once I uh, once my turn ends. So it's probably good for me to go ahead and just burn out a few more cards so I have a high likelihood of getting more of those symbols in my discard pile. Um, um, right. Do you want me to assist? Um, let me play out my deck because this is only a single challenge. So it's not that important. Right. And that, when uh, we beat one challenge, yeah. it's quote unquote done forever. And that's another right? five. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, you've housed this guy. I think that, yeah, I think that I can, I've got this one. But I'll just go ahead and draw my last card just in case. And that'll put me at 27. <laughs> okay. Um, plus, I also get, yeah, one, two, three, uh, four, five. Four, five. For each of these uh, search snakes. So that's actually plus 10. 11, 12, yeah, so plus 12 total <clears throat> from the search snake. Nice. Yeah, so no problem. So I think that I'll be in good shape to beat this. The last Wily symbol wants water. So with my um, with my 8, uh, 11 that I can buy here, I'm going <laughs> to take, my... um, take one, two water symbols. And, uh, and just put them on stuff? Yeah, and just put them on stuff. So, yeah, we'll do water. Oops. All right. Yeah, water. Cool. I see Brad popping water. up, and I'm happy. Yeah. So one of my favorite things about this game is that it's like a deck builder, like, say, like, Dominion and stuff. But when somebody else pops off, you don't feel terrible because they're your teammate. <laughs> yeah, unless they're on the enemy team, which will happen in future, uh, future off games. Right, so because you finished that already, that gets yep. a completion so this, marker. So yeah, and so in the castle, and the castle completions are permanent. So this stage has just be, been right. defeated. Um, so now we'll the see if Marco. We'll see if Marco can pop off against a uh, twenty-seven stage. So twenty-seven. Yeah. All right. Um, not a thirty-seven. Uh, sorry, a yeah. twenty plus. Okay, I yeah, see. Twenty-seven. Okay. So I currently have zero power. Yep. Uh, sorry, why is my treble here? Uh, that's up to you. You need to be here. Okay. All right. Let's go. Well, that's uh, one of my beats. Okay. So that's that's uh, a five, five, I think. Yep. Oh gonna... nope, we're shuffling you in. Get get back in there. All right. Top man's been really useful this game. All right, and then no, another... you, you get back in there. Yep. Uh, there you go. All right. This is way easier in real life. Oh my god, they have yeah. a top sim. Why? <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so we'll just top spin through the whole deck. Whoops, go ahead. So there's... Oh, that's a seven. Another seven. Uh, so no, Brad, why'd you shuffle? I'm sorry, Marco. I did shuffle. Uh, but the top card of your deck was that trouble, <laughs> so I guess that's okay. So there's seven, eight. Uh, no, but now all of the... All yeah, of the you'll hit the rushes again. That's okay, because they, they do the exact same thing. I guess that's fair. All right. See here, we can just put but it over. Just, just keep going again. until you get the card you actually want, and then we'll put them on the bottom at the end. All right. Okay. Okay. That makes more right. sense. Uh, so what total is this now? Uh, you're at twenty-two Two. now. Okay. We can still Thanks, keep Tim. going. <laughs> See you next time. Uh, okay. So this is the thing that I was talking about earlier, right? So this is yep. the quote-unquote infinite combo that I found. When yeah. this rush drops, I'm gonna do this. Get so you plus bomb three it power for plus and then the three, drop and then drop him in back into the deck. Right. And then, um, Ooh, that's and so then cool. you can cycle it again because you'll only have rushes left in your deck, uh, except for this ah, Eddie. That's unfortunate. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yep. But uh, I beat this already. So no, you still, still got. Uh, you still got. You still need one. One more point to beat it. Did you add the three? Yeah, from I did. My bomb I did, here? but you lost the two because you lost the actual card from play. So. Ah. Oh. Well, all right. All beat. Right, so. Uh, well, we're not putting it at the bottom until we find it. Okay, there. We're there. We beat it. All right. So you succeeded <laughs> that one. Cool. Right. All right. Okay. Now I get to add some shield symbols. Holy heck, Eddie. Get out of here! I hate you. Um, yeah. So you've got currently six, uh, uh, twelve to spend. So you can do two shield symbols. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go buy a shield symbol, and also buy a plus two, and yep. that just all we shield this, uh, and then we bomb this, then we plus two this, and all of my upgrades have been used now. Yeah. So, AJ, I think we are also getting a little too much money, which is making it too easy to build these crazy decks. Um, that is the kind of thing that is that we're that we're we'll do some addressing for, but it's mostly Marco's job to fix in the development stage of the game. So once we get out of design and we say like, oh, we like this engine building, then we'll start tweaking the numbers and making sure that we get the right amount of cash for the right prices of these. So we have a lot of levers to pull to make that uh, to make all that work. Um, I'm not actually that concerned. I'm really more concerned with like how fun is it right yeah. now, right? So this is a twenty or a thirty-three that I have to beat. Okay, I think we have to start helping each other out at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. This is the last fight of the game, but we definitely, I definitely need some help. Uh, let's see if. Okay, we... so let's see whether or not you get high base numbers. Yep. Uh, so... Oh, that's really good. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna use Flip base that. and flatten that. Um, that's you can't lame. flatten that anymore. Uh, I'll draw. I'll I'll double up. Right, I'll use. So let's play this. Uh, there you go. That, rush. that and then uh, that's Yikes. still a three because he's weak against it. Nice. Um, so that'll flatten itself. Okay. Cool. Uh, Brad's popping up. Um, all right, uh, that goes. That drops. I don't have enough cards to draw to replenish that. So let's total this up. So that's uh, eight, a... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No. Uh, so 14 plus 8 again. Um, so 22, uh, 2, 3, 2, 4, um, 27, 29, 30, plus that is 33 for the water symbol here. Uh, and then You know what? I'm just going to assist. Just make assist me like anyway. Nope. Sorry, Proto Man. The game right. was cleared without you. It's it's Rock Man and Base. No, now. no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I did it. I did now. it. See, I did. I did some stuff. I did some stuff. Base wins. And base. We uh, explode wildly. Nobody's nobody's uh, watching anymore. Base. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, in true Proto Man fashion, here's what happened. Right in the yeah. early game, I did like most of the work, and in the late game, I'm just a background character. <laughs> because that's really, that's really how Proto Man. Is. All right. So, um, yeah. So there's still a lot of, a lot of things to tune in the game, but this is the basic like flow of the game that we have, where you build this crazy, uh, crazy like slot machine engine, and then you pop off with crazy effects. And in the original base game, or sorry, in map one, which I'll post up here, um, in this one, you do a lot more of, uh, of getting Robot Master weapons and engineering that way. Um, the one that we played, you know, is focused a lot more on fighting these Robot Master cards. And like I mentioned at the show earlier, there's a like Robot World tournament, and this is actually a free-for-all um, game where all three of us, or all, all four, up to four players, battled out for points. So we're actually playing against, um, yeah, uh, playing playing against one another more indirectly. Um, and we've got a few other modes planned. I'm going to be, in the coming weeks, we'll be testing out castles 3, 4, and 5 a lot more. And so those are you're going to see more of the PvP modes come into play in our updating uh, right. things. So, um, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to post those in the chat. Um, I'll answer them as we go along. Cool. Um, but since this is a dev stream and uh, and all that, I want to do a little bit of here's what uh, we would do, you know, post uh, project. So in a regular playtesting yeah. session, right? Uh, well, 
I'd say regular, but we, we, I am sort of developing a new strategy for, um, right. for that. So for, uh, play testing. So in this case, we have on the left side here, our proposed changes, uh, that were in this version and then what questions we want to ask about those. And, um, and so we're going to go ahead and ask those questions and check those off. And then for things that make sense, we're going to integrate them into the rule book. So, right, um, right, right. Yeah. So let's see. Um, is the board's uh, layout intuitive? So for this challenge board here, what do you think, Marco? Is it pretty intuitive to use this thing? Did it help over for, the way we yeah, had it last it, time? I think it, yeah, because last time there was just nothing, right? Yeah. So this is way more useful. The, the abacus at the top is like, yeah, really useful in the end game when I was <laughs> like, you know, what number are we at? Um, yeah. So, so very, very true. Yeah, the end game, yeah, especially made a difference. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to hit. That's what I want to hit. Check mark. And then, yeah, useful to players, especially for comple complex uh, turns. Like when I had to do Snake Man and I might have three different multi challenges right. out. You're, so that was. Especially for helpful. you, right? Because you have a lot of floating effects. Yeah. We probably need a little more space at the bottom here. Um, Actually, my one key problem to this is that there's not enough space yeah. to. So, for example, when you pull like two to three challenge cards on top of something, they stack on top of each other in a way that you yeah. don't see the numbers in. Yeah. So that's what I, you know, want to what I want to do. Um, I want to make that spread that out a little bit more at the bottom so that you can see the numbers on these, or maybe even move the numbers to the bottom so that when you stack them, they're not obscured. Um, right. So you know, but that's, I don't that's blame mainly you. a layout thing. The board itself. Right. I don't blame you, really Michael. Useful. Base. Base or base does look like a fish, so yeah, no worries. So purchasing upgrades, um, yeah. So is it okay for players to buy cheap upgrades in bulk? Um, it's uh, so probably not in the quantities so we did. So I think I think there's a context here, right? Like I feel that being able to buy a lot, multiple upgrades in a single turn. Is really good because in every version we've played where you only get to buy one upgrade, what happens is the game is a slog fiesta, wherein yeah. I don't feel like anything gets done until 45 minutes in, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I think that and, this would work if we like set the minimum cost of items maybe to three. So if there was nothing that cost right. less than three, this might work a bit better. Um, we also played with a higher difficulty Wily deck than the last games. There are no zeros in this deck, so every card matters. And that made it a lot. That inflated our buying power a lot, too. So if the Wily right. ca challenge deck gets stronger, then we have to make the prices higher uh, to match. Alternatively, we could just put a couple bolt symbols on the bottom of these cards, and you add those. I was about to say that the, the, the bolt symbols should probably just be completely separate from what the challenge yeah. markers are. So that way you can scale difficulty without scaling everyone's buying yeah. power. So in this case, then um, let's just go ahead and um, well, let's answer our other questions first. So buying multiples feels natural. Yes. Um, yes. And do these pricing changes feel appropriate? No. Um, so no. then in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just spawn a, uh, a new uh, test here and so add up the sum of the um, of all of the bolt symbols on all challenge cards, and um, all right, and then um, and that'll be our next test uh, in a in a future round. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. Assisting. Um, so an ally can grant assistance if asked any time before start and end. Um, Let's see. And how did the assisting feel? This was enough. Was this enough opportunities to assist? I there was enough opportunities. I feel to assist or de-assist as as you did. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the only problem is tracking. I, it's really hard to track how many times you've assisted since your yeah. last turn. Um, um, yeah. So, I think. so there's that. Um, but yeah, uh, difficult to track. Um, right. number number of assists. Michael is suggesting, what did you divide? Divided the board into sections. You could only buy one from each section. Uh, you could spread the prices out, but also limit low-cost buys. 
Um, I guess it's. Uh, I don't know. I think that they, there's there is some advantage to having like stacking a lot of symbols together, like especially the cheap things like bomb and blades. Those are meant to really saturate your deck, whereas the more expensive ones like time and shield are um, are things that we don't want to give players crazy access to. Um, it's worth considering. I um, I don't think we want to test it, put it in our next unit test. But if the if the bolt symbol method doesn't work, then I might go back to that. Uh, and look at at actually just dividing it into zones and letting you only get one per zone. Um, Marco dropped out for a minute, but uh, I think he's coming back. And Marco, if you want to just use, um, if you don't want to do video, we're not showing video anymore, so it's okay. Um, so uh, holding on to bolts would add a component to the game, and I'm a little wary of giving players that ability to hold on to bolts. Um, so it also it also diminishes the need to press your luck for more cards. You know, like clearing more stages gives you more cards. So um, there's an impetus to continue to push forward, maybe even when it's risky, so that you can buy the more expensive high tier cards or to do more upgrades later. So um, for that reason, I want to make it so that players continue to um, so that so players can't hold over. Because if you're missing just one bolt, you've got to press your luck and go to the next challenge. And I think that's uh, part of the, the fun of the game. Um, but anyway, uh, continuing through this. So I felt like we had enough options to assist one another. It wasn't too oppressive. And then yeah. in three players, we would have you know up to four assists per round. So we have to test it, um, you know... Uh, Needs testing at three, at four players. Yeah. Um, does this limit the player enough that challenges are not free? Yes. So in our past, if you watched the Joffus last week, um, assists were so easy that challenges were basically free. We didn't uh, oh. have to worry about dying. This even even in this case, even uh, when Marco had exhausted assists, I was still managed to die, um, and it was the same for me with assisting him. So. The assists were certainly good, but they weren't uh, overbearing. Instant is, wins? Yeah, they right? weren't instant <laughs> wins. Um, so uh, let's continue on to uh, Robot Master Mayhem. So uh, how'd you feel about the like the numbers in this deck, the difficulty? I think the difficulty... So slight context for everyone, right? Brad and I probably are the quote-unquote best players of this game, right? We've played this. We're the best players in the world at this game right now. Right, 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 right. Let's just say that, right? Um, so go with this in the grain of salt, right, in saying that, like, we probably know more than the average person had to play this game. I think the numbers are correct. I think, mm -hmm. I think they're high enough that certain challenges still felt like, you know, like, if I mess up, I'm dead, right? Yeah. Uh, and it did happen, right? And, yeah. you know... Um, and if I didn't construct my deck in the way that I did, I would have definitely lost a few of yeah. those challenges. But, but given, because given I did... our skill level, right? Um, should this be considered right. difficult mode, or was this appropriate for you know? I think this is normal. normal. Yeah. Okay. Right. I think this is normal because there were some challenges wherein, like, I just drew my first two cards, and then I was like, I yeah. won. I right? mean, so yeah, I guess so. I mean, Mega Man games are hard, but we don't want the board game to be Mega Man hard right out of the gate. <laughs> so Right, right, right. <laughs> um, so in this set, I used one Wily symbol per player. That felt about appropriate, or was that a little not quite enough? I think I think it was appropriate, I right? Think it, I think it the felt only like reason, enough. Yeah. Right. The only reason it wasn't that quote-unquote big of a threat was we needed to see eight wily symbols before we lost yeah right but in a lot of the other like in castle one if you saw like six wily symbols like stages would get filled up real fast you know what i mean yeah so i'm thinking that like um we should probably seed the castle with one rematch card right at the beginning uh, i think so too just to uh to put a little bit more fire behind us and then um yeah. So so that so I'm thinking that yeah, like we'll do we'll do that. Um so 
Uh, okay, so gameplay for this mode. So when Wily Symbol is drawn, add a robot master to the castle. Oh, and I forgot to uh, actually update this. And um, place two, two minions. minions. Yeah. Um, so players can challenge robot masters at any time. Uh, we didn't get to try. We didn't get to try this actually. None of us paused the stage to go and fight and fight robot masters. So we don't because do the. By the time I finished my first stage, you were just about to fight Snake Man, and yeah. I noticed that there were already like six robot masters on the board, and I was like, "We have to kill some of these." Yeah. Or and so once we lose. once we built our once we had our decks built out, we only actually needed one weapon to uh, to go off, uh, probably cut due to right. the extreme purchasing power we had in this game. So I think that I don't think it's actually the purchasing power by itself. Yeah. So I think the real quote unquote culprit here is that based on my previous plays what actually makes your deck really strong is having two symbol powers, right? Mm -hmm. So by giving us a utility weapon to start with, we essentially have already one of the symbol powers we need to make the full deck, Yeah. right? Because in all the previous versions, I felt like I needed to kill two robot masters so that I would have two weapons so that my deck would kind of be fleshed out, mm -hmm. right? Um, but now, because I have the utility weapon, I just need to kill one robot master and I have two symbols already. Yeah. So that's kind of like the impetus. I don't think it's the buying power per se. I think it's the fact that you start with the utility weapon that I makes think the that, acceleration. Yeah, I think, I, I think you're onto something there too, y'all. Because having, having, once you have two powers, it really does, like, you can start comboing out. Especially if the two powers are synergistic like the like like what you got. My powers weren't really synergistic, right. uh, but my power gear synergized with base naturally. And so that gave me, right. um, gave me a built-in synergy. So, okay. Um... So yeah, did this castle feel pretty interactive? And sorry, um, yeah, did this well, castle this feel castle. pretty interactive? Yeah, we're not showing screen so I, anymore right now. People are just seeing my notepads. So oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so I actually think this castle is way more fun than Castle One. Okay. So and mostly it's because it's you have a lot of choices, right? You get to choose when you fight the castle, right? Because you don't have to be not in a stage to fight the castle. And the other one, you had to be in a stage. Mm -hmm. You had to be out of a stage to fight the castle. Yeah. Number two. You get to pick which robot masters you want to fight, right? Mm. So it, it means like, you know, like I did what I did, right? Like I go like, which of these robot masters can I beat? So you, you do this thing where you like you spread the robot masters out and you try to see which of them you can actually reasonably yeah. defeat. That's a lot of choices and that's really fun. I actually really like this stage. I like the stage more than stage one. Cool. So. Well, it uh, gives me more reason to go work on stage one, but I'm glad this one... Uh, has survived first contact. So, um, uh, so talking about the um, uh, what's it called the end game here. Um, so, yeah, sure. and I, I just closed tabletop, so you're probably gonna lose. Uh, the, I, I was like, did I disconnect? Sorry. No, that, I something? I turned it off because it was lagging a bit. Um, so, if there are All eight right. undefeated robot masters in play, the players lose. And if the players have defeated eight, they gain access to the center, the battle at the center of the castle. I think that this um, right. probably. Uh, so we said that this was going to be six. We hot fixed that during the game, um, and then uh, right. I think that actually we probably want to change this one to six as well. And um, that way, do you way, feel like that should scale with number of players? No, I don't. Um, the the num because the the challenge deck is scaling with the number of players. So more, they're coming out faster with more players in play which means oh, okay that, that makes sense more players will have to go to the castle more quickly so if we we're playing three or four players we would probably have to interrupt our first uh our, our first or second stage to go and fight why no definitely first stage right assuming that we're pulling essentially four cards and then yeah. there's like four wily symbols in the deck right that means like in one and a half rotations, you would have six. Yeah. Right. So. So. You definitely need yeah. to. So instead of Wait. actually like modifying my, that, let's do let's do it like this. Um, so, no, uh, try limiting uh, to six. Um, try uh, reducing the gateway to entry to six. Right. That also makes did. the end game yeah. quote unquote faster, which yeah. I think is good. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think we. Yeah, once we once we defeated six of those, we had pretty much proved that we could trounce anything that was coming our way, and it was time to go to the end game. So. Right. Yeah. Um, so last thing was the ending pretty climactic. Um, 
I don't know. The last challenge was not super hard um, because we had it already wasn't... like, I mean, because our, our decks were ridiculous at that point, right? Right. But, I think I think this is just a deck builder thing, right? I don't think yeah. there's a way to make the last fight quote unquote climactic without making it feel cheap. I think this is something that people often uh, make a mistake when it comes to like designing these kinds of games is that they're like, oh, the last fight isn't climactic. And but I think the point is that in a game like this, you don't want the last uh-huh. fight to be climactic. Okay. You want the player to feel like they've cheated the entire game and the game is like crushing under the weight of their power, right? Like. Mm-hmm. Because that's the entire point, right? Yeah. Like, I understand that some people want the challenge, and it was a decent challenge. You literally had to pull your entire deck to do it. Yeah, right? I did like so, score it on the last card. That's true. Um, right. Okay. So, well, yeah, I think that that's that's pretty good then. So, um, so this is a good record of like our play session, and I can now you know take this test and go to the um, you know and move this into my next test document. And then these mm. rules that we approved, I'll integrate into the, um, you know, into the rule book over here. And then um, mm. those things that we didn't, I will, uh, you know, come up with a new version uh, to test in our next update. So, yeah, cool. Well, this was really good. Thanks for joining me, Marco, and thanks everybody uh, in the stream for for joining in and for making suggestions on the rules too. So, um, right. You know, we hope you join us again <laughs> next week, and I'm hoping to demo Castle Number Three, The Menace of Gamma, where Wiley will get in a giant robot and attack us directly as we're trying to oh go my the stages. So, Ooh, um, that's so that should so be cool. fun. Anyway, um, it yeah. says, "Yep, this will be on the shelf with Aeon's End." That's a good cool. thing, right? Yes, yeah, Aeon's End is, uh, is is a great great cooperative game. So right. awesome. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the stream and uh, close up shop. So have a great evening. Have a great 4th of July, everyone. And uh, all right. thanks again for joining us. As happy always, Independence Day, all you Americans. Yeah. Happy Independence Day. And uh, as always, happy gaming. Don't forget, don't forget to upgrade your cards. Yes, don't forget to upgrade your cards. <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>